Welcome back bitches. In the last episode I got some vegetables for Sunny and decided to check out this old schoolhouse before returning. There seem to be lots of bugs. Let's get started. I like killing these bugs. They don't run away like coyotes. Ouch, a bug bit. Owie. All the buggy bugs are dead. Let's take a look around. Stuck. I doubt I can find much of use here, except to sell for some money. Wow, a computer. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password if your science skill is high enough you- Oh fuck it let's hack this shit. HM, let's try roaming. Soldier. Damn it. Special. Of course. Who who you hola lulu? Wait, what? Okay, unlock it, yes. Good stuff. I guess. Let's get out of here and have some lunch with Sunny. Then I'll give her my hot lunch. Ew. Oh look, some water. Let's have a nice refreshing drink. I'm really thirsty. U M M M M M. Let's not try to jump. Huh? 
Hi, baby. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. I guess this is it. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients. That didn't really seem no worth my damn time. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I'd like to poke my head in you. Thanks, baby. First, let's make some food for later, since all I made with Sunny was some stupid powder. Well, that was a pretty good first day. It is getting dark, so going back to the saloon sounds like a good idea. Let's skip ahead. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Oh boy, I gained a level. Fuck, I guess I gotta talk to this bitch first. I overheard your argument. What was that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is that asshat? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder puffers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Kill him then. You mean murder him? Not That's really. Not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Oh, never mind then. Maybe I should help this fucknut. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. What if I help the powder bitches? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Hmm, okay, tell me about the guy who face fucked me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Where did they go? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Probably those ass-eating coyotes. They are tough. 15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Just tell me where they were going like I asked. 
I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. My big throbbing brain tool can fix your radio. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Let me see your stuff. Another satisfied customer. I guess. Goodbye. Be yes, a level. Okay, I think I will enhance my brain tool powers. Also, I think I need to get better at sneaking otherwise I will get my face fucked regularly and I don't want that right now. No. No. Yes, I am Stephen Hawking, swift learner. Okay, let's go fix that radio for money. Feeling thirsty? I can take no, care of that. No, I drank a lot of water. But I fixed your shit. Yeah, I heard it in like three right seconds. After you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. I want more because I have a high IQ. Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? No thanks, bye-bye. Okay, so I think I will go talk to that dude that's hiding to figure out what's going on with him. Then let's find a place to sleep for the night. In the next episode. Bitches.